all glory and honor and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah. That's to give all glory and honor and praise to the Most High God, the name is only begotten Son, the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. All right. May the Heavenly Father love and mercy truly endure forever for Israel and Israel only, as it said in the Holy Scriptures. You got your brother Yerumbia. Come back to do another sit now, another feed the flock. And what the day, uh, what do we got on our hands? Uh, catching uh, Esau hand in the cookie jar, right? I've been seeing this information maybe like three weeks ago, being a little tied up, slavery, you know, and other things. Um, I ain't uh, get a chance to sit down and react to this and put this information out there. So all praise to the Most High God. I'm, I'm on break at this plantation, so I'm just going to react to this video, right, and just comment on it. And what is it? It's about Brett Four, right? Uh, receiving public assistance, right? He's denying, gentlemen, any wrongdoing in his alleged involvement in that Mississippi welfare case. Barb saying, quote, he's been unjustly smeared by the media. This comes after an investigation by Mississippi Today found that Brett Favre, along with the help of a former Mississippi governor, obtained welfare funds to help build a new volleyball center at the University of Southern Miss. Shannon, what's your reaction? Man, I don't believe nothing out of Brett Favre's mouth. He's a proven liar. And he's lying again. And you see what they do, Skip? The moment they get caught, the first thing they... Right, and all praises to the most I got. Right, I, uh, I definitely don't agree with all of, uh, you know, um, the brother, uh, Shannon, um, Shannon Sharp. I, I don't approve of everything he's saying and everything he be doing. I mean, obviously, you know what I mean? Um, personally, I be thinking that he be on uh, some coonery, but, you know, he definitely, uh, was, uh, smacking this, uh, Edomite upside the head uh, this time, All right? Hey, let me Shannon, what's your reaction? Man, I don't believe nothing out of Brett Favre's mouth. He's a proven liar, and he's lying again. And you see what they do, Skip? The moment they get caught, the first thing they blame, the media. I've been smeared by the media. Really? It was you that said, this is Brett Favre text to Nancy New. Mm -hmm. If you were to pay me there, if, if, if you were to pay me, is there any way the media can find out where this came from and how much? Why you care if the media found out if everything's going to up and up? What you did... By the way, Nancy knew... Pled been, guilty. Yeah, she pled she guilty, but she was running... Right. She pled guilty, but he's talking to her like, listen, is anything of what we're doing... Um, could it end up coming out in the media? This, These these is serpent people, man. In the non-profit that handled these funds the federal funds that were meant for the state's poor they're called temporary assistance for needy families funds need right like just like this um you know uh uh dang <laughs> you know they, they they try to take videos down for anything you say right but this um you know person impersonating god's chosen people right skip bellis he uh he said, uh, um, what? Running the nonprofit that handled these funds. These federal funds that were meant for the state's poor. They're called temporary assistance for needy families funds. Temporary assistance for needy family, right? This is what a lot of these public assistance and, um, you know, avenues that they have food stamp, uh, okay, what's some of them? public housing and some of these stuff is for low uh income um people right which brett Ford is obviously not one of them needy families yeah which brett Favre is not a needy family he's worth a hundred million dollars in other words he was reverse robin hood robin hood robbed from the rich and gave to the poor he robbed from the poor to give to the richest he was robbing hood yeah thank you robbing hood <laughs> 
Skip, and he was like, and he tried to call it, I tried to get this wellness center. Bro, it was not a wellness center. You yeah. tried to get a volleyball arena built for your, your yeah. alma mater when your daughter was playing. Mm -hmm. That's what you try to do. Because if it was for the state of Mississippi, you mean to tell me I could go down there and use it? So any they, of they the, tried to claim you could. No, you could yeah. stop it. You know damn well. you like, I, I can't go down there and use nothing from UCLA, USC, or any, Pepperdine, or anybody no. else. Skip, stop that, no. Brett. No. And you think people are dumb. And I'm not even talking about your, your cancer foundation that would meant that, you, that people would give you money for kids with cancer, that you was taking that and donating it to your alma mater. Mm. Skip, he wanted to seem philanthropic without being philanthropic. So, but in other words, he wanted to be philanthropic, but I used my money. I used the state's money. Money that was meant for the state's poorest, the neediest. Mm. And this man don't give a damn about it. He don't give a damn if families can't feed their family. They need this money. Damn it, I got arena. The Brett Favre and his wife foundation, they built this arena. No, they didn't. R remember, this is Mississippi we're talking yes! about. Yes! Or state in the union with the poorest people. And he wanted the wealthiest people in Mississippi. Well, he, he has he's, to be. He's taken from the poorest in order to give a university that get, probably gets federal dollars just so he can... Man, you see what Brett Favre did? Brett and Dina, man, they built this arena. Because... Stop it. So it's five million dollars. Why? If you're worth a hundred million, why couldn't you just say, I will give you a, a pledge of five million dollars. Right. We can write it off. But see what they do. But see, and, and, and if I read this correctly, you got to give them all the money at once. You got to. Here, here's five million. Yeah. It's not a situation where, OK, you restart the building. No, no, no. Ain't no start. No building. No, I, I Go ahead it. and give it to us right now. Skip. He wanted to he wanted to present himself this one way. Man, I'm so philanthropic. All the while, he was taking the money from the state's poorest and donating it to the university. And, and remember, it's two-pronged because he also was busted for taking $1.1 million for speaking engagements right. or radio spots, none of which, according he, to the audit, he, he, he performed. So he gave back the $1.1 million. Now they're suing him in civil court for $228,000 of interest, right. and he is balking at that. So we, we got all kinds of things going on. And all I know is that in the end, I'm not sure you're going to be seeing Brett Favre in any Wrangler commercials anytime soon after this. I give it a couple. They, they let it, they, they, you know, he, I don't he, know. He, he, Skip, I'm, I'm telling you, you give it a couple, give it uh, uh, the, 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 those elbow sleeves and knee sleeves, they still standing with him. He'd be, he'd be wearing Wrangler jeans before you know okay. it. But this is the best part right here. I've um, I seen this video one time. This is the best part right here. To me, Brett Favre's John Madden Memorial Superstar Cachet is running very low right now. Skip that he's been this. Brett, people make it seem like, oh, all of a sudden, Brett, once he retired, Brett has always been this slight sleazy. He's always been a slime. But we just overlooked it because everybody liked him. John Madden spoke so glowingly about him. The NFL presented him in such a way that everybody loved him. But he's been this. Why was he able to be acquired by the Green Bay Packers for a second-round pick? Do, do you remember? God, yeah, he spent more time in Buckhead than I did. That is correct. He had alcohol issues, report not reported, validated, because at one point he got suspended and was told you cannot consume alcohol anymore. And then remember before the 96 season, he had to go to drug rehab yeah. for 46 days. I think it was for pain-killing, like Vicodin mm -hmm. kind of uh, – addiction right but but he did that that happened that's on his resume then he winds up with the jets and he went through the whole sexting scandal remember yeah with the absolutely. woman who worked for the jets and even though that the, they did a forensic analysis and it failed to prove that he he actually sent objectionable pictures via texting right. but but the point was it happened right and he managed to slide and, right and, out from under and they never mentioned anything about that if you notice, nothing that he's ever done in his past, when they mention Brett Favre, gets mentioned. But our colleague here, Michael Vick, you can't mention Michael Vick without mentioning what? They go right back to that very thing that he ended up losing half a part of his career for. They mention that every single time. You see, you see the boy Skip Bellis take a deep breath because he know, he know that's true. He know that's true. I mean, there's no rap about that, right? You had, um, what's his name, the quarterback that was a... And uh, in Pittsburgh, um, Ben, Ben Roth, whatever his last name is, but Ben, right? He he was caught, if I believe, on two different occasions of uh, of raping females, right? Having one of his bodyguards stand outside the door while he had them in the bathroom. 
right? Nobody talks about that. And he goes back and plays football, right? Uh, Ray, Ray Rice hits his spouse. I'm not saying that is right or trying to justify it. Hits her, knocks her unconscious, right? And his career is over. I mean, we see this time and time again. Um, um, Riley Cooper, right, played for the Eagles, Philadelphia, right? He He's in some type of nightclub where it's a black bouncer throwing him out for being rowdy or whatever the situation was, right? And what do he say? He said, I like, I beat all y'all niggas up. See that? See that? And still played for the same team that Michael Vick was playing for. But Michael Vick still had that stain on him as what? As killing dogs, right? Black people was the first one to excuse Riley Cooper for saying that. Right, it's not, it's not, it's no way of comparison or of comparing it. Any black person in the NFL, if he ever did what? They go right back to that very thing that he ended up losing half a part of his career for. They mention that every single time. Any black person in the NFL, if he ever did something wrong, they gonna bring that up to the forefront before they mention what he did good. Not with that joker. And pretend like it didn't happen. Mm. Man, they need to miss me with this. And I wish he'd hey. sit down. Stop talking. Have your day in court if it gets that far. I don't want to hear anything from you because you've been a proven liar. That's what you are. And you want to blame the media. The media didn't do this. The media didn't force you to take this money. The media did not force you to try to become free, to pretend like you're philanthropic when you're not. Steal from your state's poorest in order to give to a university. Mm. This is disgustingly, despicably the lowest of the low to me. Do you know how low you have to be to take from this? That would be like if somebody, I got, I'm who I am, and I walk by a homeless person and I take the money out of his jaw, or I take the money from them. Do you know how low you got to be? Well, that's how low that joke is. Lord and well poop. Because he took from his state's poorest the most needed. Skip, it's not like they robust. It's not like they got a surplus of money. And, and then... To fire back, I'm being smeared by the media? No, nah, bro, you, you got did smeared that. by yourself. Well, thank you. Thank Ooh. you. You did this a long time ago. You did this a long time ago, but the media did a great job of trying to clean you up. Mm. That's the problem with the media. If I got a problem with the media, they tried to clean your dirty behind up. Mm -hmm. And now, the very people that cleaned you up, you tried to tell me, oh, they smearing you. If they did their job a long time ago, you wouldn't have been in the position you in now. That is a fact. Look, was he a great player? Yeah, he was a great player. Yes. Was he fun to watch? Sure, he was fun to watch. Did he get away with near murder on the football field because he would try about anything at any moment? It looked like he got away with near murder off the field, too, with a lot yeah. of other bull jive that yeah. he was pulling. That, that is true. What what did I learn from inside out from the Dallas Cowboys every time they were about to play Brett Favre? He will throw you three. You just have to be ready to catch them. Yeah, at least two of them. Right? you yes. got to be able to catch them because he's going to throw them at, at 150. 40 ashed. Yeah, we did. Yes. Yeah, you pulled me. We got we got a pick and a turn and a, uh, a a strip sack. Okay, and you pulled it off. Yeah, we won. Yeah, despite a migraine headache suffered by. Oh, we were going off. Man, TD didn't play. Uh, this TD didn't clean I don't him think up. So. But if, uh, if he goes to a place where they turn big rocks into little rocks, I wouldn't be disappointed. Mm. Well, I'm not sure it'll go that far because he still has a hundred million dollars, and usually, if you're worth that much money, you can figure that out. Well, yeah, he, I, I think he hired one of a uh, former Trump he did. Uh, he, uh, uh, attorney. He yeah. did. Yep. Well, it's what they do. The media. You blame the media for something that you do. The media wouldn't even done it. if you hadn't done it. If ain't the media wouldn't even know anything about it. This, no. this, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing that somebody would do something like this from your state's poor. You would take from them. And you know, you know how poor your state is. And you know how needy. I, I, I think if I'm not mistaken, Skip, like 80, 85, maybe even 90 percent of the people that apply, that, that apply for welfare or, substance, or, or assistance get turned down. This man got a hundred million in the pocket. He took five damn million dollars from the state, the poorest state, when the citizens that really need it can't get it. It's almost hard to comprehend that somebody would stoop that low. Man, I wish I've been to the state of Georgia, state of Georgia, state of California, can't no state. Man, what's this money from? Man, it's for our, well, we want you to have it because we feel, no, 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 you can't, I don't want nothing from uh, people that, that need a uh, government assistance, that need welfare, that need EBT cards, or whatever the case may be, for uh, housing. And you won't give it to me to do a speech? Man, I don't want to do no, man, get out of here. And to donate, that, that, come on.
That's embarrassing. Gentlemen, the law is very clear. TANF funds are not allowed. Right. I mean, the law is very clear, but obviously, I mean, the laws didn't apply when he was applying. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you put down a false name or another name, you put it under another name. So all these laws and stuff like that, there's many different ways to go around it. Obviously, he, he had somebody tied into it. Um, we've seen Skip Bellis brought that woman up, but she pled guilty because she knew her hands was dirty. She don't have as much money as the boy Brett Farr. So, yeah, I mean, she just pled guilty to the situation. Right, so I got a couple minutes left on this break, so let's do this. Um, yeah, let's do this. Um, let's go here. Right, let's go here. Let's go here. This is the book of John, chapter 10. And verse 10. The thief cometh not but for the steal and to kill and to destroy. I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Right? So that's why y'all shot came, that we can have life and have it more and abundantly. Right? But the thief only come for stealing. Right? I mean, to steal, kill, and destroy. Right? Um, Uh, it's a book of Psalms. It's a book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. The wicked are estranged from the womb, right? They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, right? This is what goes on. Yeah, you know I mean, they go for, 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 right out of their mind, womb, just speaking lies, right? Yeah, you know I mean, I love black people. I love me. I love all people type genre, huh? Um, so, let's touch this one. Right, this is uh, the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 1. Right, the vision of Obadiah, thus saith the Lord God, concerning who? Edom, right? Concerning Edom, right? So, let's, let's see this. Let's, let's go into it, right? This is trying to eat him, right? Verse 3, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, though thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. Right? Who who dwells in the cliffs of the rock? Who dwells in the cliffs of the rock? Right? Cavemen. Right? The Edomites, right? So-called white man. Let me jump down. Verse 5, If these came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Will thou... Well... So like, I'm going to read it again. Verse 5. If things came to thee, if robbers by night, how were thou cut off? Right? So it's how can Esau be cut off? Right? The Lord going to have to cut him off. Because a regular thief or what? They'd be cool with just stealing enough, putting enough into the trunk. Right? Putting enough into the truck. Right? A couple of uh, furniture, some jewelry. Right? Some shoes. <laughs> I mean, like some um, some money. Got your wallet there. Right, yeah, I mean that's how they gonna be cut off. But how how are thou cut off? Thou being who Esau, would thou had would uh would they have not stolen till they had enough? That's a regular thief. If if great gatherers came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Right, a regular thief will leave at least leave a, a little bit of grapes. He can't take all the grapes from the tree. But who is, is but Esau? What does he do? He not only takes all the grapes off the tree, he goes and claims that tree for himself. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean, I did anything else that that uh, that that pertains in that whole um, you know, in that whole village and that whole forest. You know what I mean? He start proclaiming that to be what his. You know what I mean, like you left and went to another forest, another location. And now all of a sudden he pops up there, and now all of a sudden, hey, this is mine. Finders keepers. Right, that, that goofy ass um saying that he came up with, right? Um verse six, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are how are his hidden things sought out? 
right? Can nobody understand this person, man? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a damn beast, man. I got like four minutes left on this break. Let me do this. Um, damn. All right, check this out. Look, which race uses public assistance the most, right? Right, check this out. Um, which race is on food stamps the most? Whites. See that? This is clear, right? 30, 37%. Um, African Americans, 26. Hispanics, uh, 16. Native Americans, 2. Asians, uh, 3. Right? This, this is clear. Come on. What uh, nationality is most on welfare? Whites, right? Non-Hispanics. You see that? I mean, non-Hispanics is the most that's on there. You see that? Non-Hispanics. The biggest chunk of welfare, uh, of welfare recipients are non-Hispanics, right? Because they want to go around and say that they what? Five dollar Indians, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're a Spanish, right? You're you're from you're, you're the bull from Spain. Yeah, I mean, like you're not who the Taino Indians who y'all start calling, right? Hispanics, see that? So you're not them. You're not you're not God's chosen people, right? That's who the the biggest chunk of welfare recipients are. What non-white people? Let me see something. Right, but Brett uh fourth a Brett Brett fourth net worth is uh over right over a hundred million. Let me see something else. Uh, Mississippi. See that? I mean, this is the people who should have got that five million, right? This is where that five million should have went. See that damn row houses, man. And we know our people is mainly the ones in these drones. That you got blocks of abandoned houses. That's where it should go, man. Right, not to this damn thief. See that, but it's a real quick video. Uh, just exposing um, Esau is being the devil that the Bible speaks of, right? Um, yeah, I mean, actually, not not having that many, uh, not as great of a number as far as um, population. But nevertheless, still is the the person that's on welfare the most, right? So, I mean, I mean, the thief is, I mean, just it's here. But then, but then he uses a uh, psychological uh, warfare against our people, like pull yourself up by the bootstrap, uh, you know, like I mean, tired of y'all wanting handouts and and free handouts. Y'all the niggas that's on this joint the most. Yeah, I mean, I think y'all richest niggas is, is is on it too, trying to get a five million dollar handout. Black people just be trying to get a ten thousand dollar loan. Like, if we were trying to just get a ten thousand dollar loan, this nigga try to get a five, a five, a uh, 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 damn near um, 
um, two million dollar uh, handout because it was like a it was like a million and some change and then uh and then uh 200 uh something bands right so uh, yeah, like it's crazy man <laughs> all praise to the most high god hopefully brother sis was edified